Can I start? I have my hand weights up. I have my water bottle ready to go. Drink water whenever you want. I am wearing shoes today. I often have just socks on, but today I'm wearing shoes. When we sit on the chair, make sure your feet are flat, your toes are pointing straight ahead, arms are by your side for a big shoulder roll. From the shoulder roll, it's a big inhale. Reach out, take your inhale. Exhale, blow it out. Two more of these. Reach out, big inhale. Exhale, blow it out one more time. Here's your inhale. Exhale, keep your hands on your lap. Look over your right shoulder, neck stretch. Look over your left shoulder. Look to the front, drop your chin to your chest. Lift your chin to the ceiling. Look straight ahead, open your arms to the side, lift your chest, big inhale. Hug a ball as you exhale. Chest opens with an inhale. Hug a ball, exhale, one more time, big inhale. Exhale, keep your hands in front, clasp your hands. Bring your palms up towards the ceiling, stretch here. Release your fingertips, side stretch, just clasp your wrist, little side stretch. Off to the other side. Make it a little bigger, drop the left arm, sweep the right arm up and over. Switch sides, sweep the left arm up. Let's do that one more time, big move. Side stretch, here's the other side. Both your arms are up right here. Press your palms together, push them down, bring them down to the front of your chest. Stretch your wrist out here, a little wrist stretch. Fingertip to drop down to the floor, take it in the other direction. Clasp your hands, make some figure eights, loosen up the wrist. Take your hands to your lap, cow cat, lift the chest, big inhale. Drop the chin to the chest, round through your spine. Where it feels good here, it's a lift, chest opens, you drop, you round. Let's do that one more time. Lift up, moving through your spine, round, release. Sit up tall, take your hands to the right side, gentle twist for your spine. Switch sides, hands go off to the left as you sit up tall. Bring yourself to the center, stretch out your fingers, lift your toes, make a fist, lift your heels. We're going to do this a few times. Move through your ankles, move your fingers. See if you can stretch them all out wherever it is for you as you lift toes and heels. One more time. Feet can stay flat, wrist circles, move your wrists, loosen it up. Here's the other direction. Lift the right leg right here, add some ankle circles, move your ankle in one direction. Move it in the other direction. Foot goes down, switch sides, leg is up, there's your circle. And now the other direction. Big hug of the right leg. Now that big hug is wherever it is for you. Pause, enjoy the stretch. Set the foot down, here comes the other side. Again, wherever it works, you might bring it to the front, you might open up more to the outside. Let's do that one more time on each side. When you lift up, pull the toes up, point the toes down. Let's do that one more time. Pull and point. Foot goes down, here comes the other side. Hug, pull and point. Do that one more time. Time for our hip circles. Let's get some movement here. Bigger movement as long as it works for your hips. You have your circle and slide. Warming up the hip joint. Now, depending how it feels, you might keep it smaller today. Make any modifications that feel good for you. All of our bodies are different. On the next one, you slide out and circle in. There's your slide and circle. 
slide and circle. Again, maybe you keep it small. Maybe you make an adjustment. Oops, I did it backwards. And we're <laughs> took too long of a vacation. I forgot what I was doing right here. Finish that one. Keep it here. Take your hands on your lap. Circle your upper body. And again, this is always this first, I don't know, little time frame that we do when we start. It's about getting movement in all of our joints. Uh, just getting everything moving and warming up, change directions. We want it to feel good, meaning if you feel pain, make some adjustments. Sometimes we might be uncomfortable in some of the exercises, but as long as they don't cause pain, we don't want to feel pain. Right here is your last little circle. I'm going to have you keep your feet wide, take it a little bit wider, add your lean forward, drop a shoulder upper back mobility, and then we switch sides. We're just trying to keep movement in every section of our body. Finish this one, bring yourself back to the center. I'm gonna have you come down to your forearms. Maybe this is perfect and you stay here. Maybe you reach down and you go lower. So again, I am going to stay up a little bit higher. It just works better for my body, but that doesn't mean it works better for yours. Stay on your forearms, bring yourself up, big twist. Drop the right arm, open the left, maybe a little, maybe a lot. We're getting this big twist here. You switch sides. Now I emphasize, listen to your body. Not all of us are supposed to twist big. Some are supposed to skip twisting. Keep that in mind when you do these exercises. Bring it down. Start bringing yourself all the way up right here. I'm going to do a little bit of core. We're going to do a knee lift and our arm lift, opposite arm, opposite leg. Yes, it's coordination. The reason I say core here is it takes core to keep your body upright when you lift your leg. But if you don't want to lift your leg up high, you don't have to. Here's the switch, arm leg. We're gonna do a couple more of these. So we have movement. You might feel this working in your hip flexor and your quadricep each time you lift your leg up. On this next one, you can take both your arms up. We're gonna take it across. So you're gonna take your knee to your elbow and bring it back to center. Knee to elbow, now I have my arms up high. You might choose to keep them a little bit lower. You could also cross your arms in front if your shoulders are fatigued and they just don't wanna do this today. So think core here though, pull the belly button into your spine and make the movement as big or as little as you like. We'll do four more here. There's your four, three, two. Feet can stay down. Take your hands right to your hips. You're gonna take them here and do a little crunch and bring it up. So I'm gonna start with the hands on the hips. They can stay here, this little crunch. Now remember, be nice to your back. You have to pull the belly in so that we're not twerking our back. Uh, now I'm trying to get to work your obliques a little bit. If this feels okay and today your arms are up for it, there's your hands behind your head, little bigger crunch, side to side. Pick the version that works for you. Check that your chin is level. Lots of times we like to drop our chin. Let's see if we can keep it lifted a little bit. One more time each side. Once you finish this, stay in the center. Slide your fingertips to your shoulders. Elbows go up and around. Big circle here. Mobility for your shoulder joint. I have you going towards the back. Open up your chest. Takes a couple big breaths as you do this. Finish this one. We're going into our goal post arms. There we are. Squeeze your forearms together. Open up. Maybe the forearms touch. Maybe they don't. We should feel a nice stretch in the upper back, the back of the shoulders. Let's do two more. 
One more time, you're going to keep your arms open. Here comes your shoulder mobility again. Drop them halfway or all the way. There's your drop and your lift. Drop and lift. Four, three, two. Keep your fingertips up here. Straighten your arms all the way out. Take little circles around. Four big. Wherever it works for you. This time I do want you to switch your directions. Take it around in the other direction. We're going to drop our arms by our side. Give yourself a big shoulder shrug. Slide them up. Slide them down. Shrug up. Shrug down. One more time. Add a march or your heel lift. Let's add some bicep curls. I just want some movement in your elbow joint. And how big you march, how fast you march, all up to you. Keep the march going. Take your arms to the side, just a little up and away from you. A little extra movement here. Keeping the march, arms go overhead. It's your overhead press. Push up, bring it down. Push up, bring it down. Up and down. Four, three, two. There's your last one. Drop your arms down. Shake it out a little bit here. We're gonna get ready to stand up. Once I'm standing, I'm gonna grab my sip of water. Set yourself up. We're going to start with some squats today, little squats. I'm going to just adjust my chair, grab your sip of water. So today we're going to start standing squats. I usually do them in the chair. I'm going to have you take your feet whatever distance feels good for you. Little push back of your hips and bring it up. Now I want you to keep it small to start. I want you to think of your bum going back and tapping the wall behind you. If it bothers your knee joints, keep it smaller and focus on the pushback of your bum versus letting your knees come forward. So often we let our knees go forward before we push our butt back. Push your butt back. Take two more here. And now I'm going to add on here. You're going to take your arms and you're going to sweep them all of the way up. Take a big inhale and take a little squat. Sweep them down. Here comes a big inhale up. This is a full body move. I want it to feel good. You don't have to go deep. It's like a little sweep up and sweep down. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale down. Here's your up and you're down. One more change is coming up here. This time when you go down, bring your hands to your thighs. We're going to do a standing cow cat. You're going to have your hands on your thighs. You're going to drop the belly. You're going to look up. And then you pull the belly in. So now we're doing this from a standing position. Get a little bit more movement through your hips, possibly. We can't do that on the chair. And again, this should feel good. One more time here. And now roll yourself all the way up. So you're going to come up one vertebra at a time. Get the shoulders back. Keep the hips to the front. Swing your upper body. Loosen up the upper back. Soft, little flowy, and your knees are soft. Finish this a little swing. Bring yourself to center. We're going to work on balance. So if you want to shake your legs out a little bit, do that. We're going to start with the knee lift. If you want to hold it to your chair, do that. 15 seconds once your knee is up. Remember, you can always keep your toes down. Use the chair, hands me on your hips, wherever you want to put your hands. Five, four, three, two. Set the foot down. We're going to do the same leg, but we're going to take the heel behind us. So stay balanced on the leg you started with. When you're ready, Toes down or you lift up and there's your hold. Stand up tall. Three, two, set the foot down. Same leg out to the side. So when you're ready, find your balance. 
Lift the leg up to the side, hold it here. Use your chair if you want. Toes can be down. There's five, four, three, two, foot goes down. Take some hip circles. Circle out your hips. Take it around in one direction. Take it around in the other direction. I'm gonna step over to the other side of my chair so I can use it for balance. We're using the knee lift. We have all three on the other side. When you're ready, here comes. Knee up, wherever that is for you today. You're working on your balance. Five, four, three, two. Foot goes down, take a little break. We get ready. The foot is gonna go behind you. You could lift it up or down. There's your hold, 15 seconds. Try to stand up tall. Five, four, three, two. Foot goes down. Here comes to the side. Set yourself up when you're ready. Lift and hold. So our standing leg, because we did all three, is working a little bit harder today because I had you do all three without switching sides. Go ahead and relax the leg down. Here comes your hip circles. Feet are grounded. Hips go around in one direction. You always want to make sure we catch both directions. Take it around in the other direction. We're gonna bring ourselves far enough behind our chair to take some step touches. Now this is gonna be however big or small you wanna make it. I do like to add a step up and over for myself. The size of it just depends on the day. A little push forward with my arms as a little added challenge. I'm pushing to the front today, but if you wanna push up, that's gonna be even more challenging. That's a great option. I'm gonna stay to the front today. And my lift up and over, not quite as big as I usually do, but that's okay because today, this is what works for me. When you finish this one, stay on the side, add a little bit of a march. Just take a little march. Remember, marching works your balance. We're on one foot at a time. We stand up tall. We think about lifting the knees. Little march, 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 march. We'll slow our feet down. We're going to do a tight walk, and we're going to do the tight walk around our chair today. When you're ready, start walking heel, toe. Now remember, you, you can keep your feet further apart. I said use a chair, so if you want it around the chair, so if you want to use the chair for balance, go for it. If you don't like walking around the chair, do your walking forward and back. We do that often. Once you get next to your chair, we will all hold a tight rope next to our chair, working our balance a little bit more. So you might need to make a little adjustment, find your balance, hold it here. I'm gonna hold it a little bit longer in our tight rope in case it's taking you longer to go around your chair or you had more space. We'll all meet in this, and now I'm going to have you lift your heels up. We're going to do a little calf raises. Heels go up, pause, and you bring them down. Let's do two more on this side. Heels go up, a little pause. Bring it down one more time here. And then when you finish that, go ahead. Shake it out right here. We are going to take it on the other side. I have to make sure we catch both of our feet in front to get your balance. Again, we're going to start, we're going to just hold it. I want to even it out as close as I can. We're going to balance because you might notice you have one side that usually is better than the other side. Or if it doesn't, if it isn't like that for you, it's like that for me. Here comes our heel lifts. Heels go up and we bring them down. Here goes up and down. 
And one more time, bring it up. Bring it down. Go ahead, release it. Shake it out right here. We're gonna come back to a, a we're gonna do a knee lift, side kick. We're gonna do our leg around, kind of thinking of it as a clock. So you're gonna take the knee up. Let's straighten it and take it up and around like it's a hand on a clock. Bring it in and do that again. Take it up and around. So you're gonna notice mobility in your hip. Maybe you need to use your chair for balance. I do. <laughs> We're gonna do that a few more times. Now you could keep the toe down on the floor. I like to lift mine up so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. So it's an up and around. You're gonna do this one more time. And then when you finish that one, plant both your feet down. Take your hands behind your head or cross them in front. It's our deadlift movement. You're gonna push your hips back and then you bring yourself up. Now the idea with this move is to strengthen the back of your thighs, your hamstrings, strengthen your butt. It is a strengthener for your low back, but we wanna pull the belly in to support the back. So we do this, this is a great strengthener, so it can help us if we have discomfort in our back. We wanna strengthen these muscles around it so that maybe, hopefully, it'll alleviate some of the back pain that you might have. Finish that one right there, take your arms down. We have the other side to go, which means I'm gonna step over to the other side of my chair. We start with that leg up and around. Chair is here if you want it. Leg is up, there comes your up and around. Little tap in the center. Out and around. So you're thinking of your leg is like the second hand on the clock as it goes around. As I say that, right, our kids probably, half of them are would wonder what I'm talking about. They're used to digital for everything, right? Here we go, up and around. One more time. And then when you finish that one, here comes hands behind, but they could also go in front. Here comes that little hinge, push your butt back. Now bend your knees enough that your back stays straight. If you round your back a lot, that usually means you have tight legs. If you bend your knees, It'll give you a little bit more space to move with a straight spine. You don't have to go that deep. We do not want to have pain in this. Little discomfort, but no pain. Let's do this one more time. When you finish this one, we're going to take our double step touch behind our chair. Give yourself enough space. There's your double step touch. I always show it in faint options. Option one, cross your foot. If that works for your hips and you, you don't have to cross. I'm gonna add some arms in front and add a cross, another option. These are all variations. You're picking the one that works for you. More intensity, arms go up higher. We'll do a couple more here. We'll go back and forth. When you finish this, march next to your chair. Here's your march. We'll use our space and march forward and back. With that said, I'm going this way behind my chair. Instead of marching towards you, I'm gonna march behind my chair. And use the space that you have. Now, a lot of this is about getting comfortable, walking backwards some. Now, I get it. You might want to hold on to the wall as you walk back. These are just options of things. I am looking over my shoulder. That makes it a little bit more challenging when you look in a different direction than what you're moving. When you 
finish this time, we will all meet behind our chair. So when you're ready, when you finish, bring yourself behind your chair, open your feet up wide enough. I wanna do some side lunges, just a great way to move side to side. Great way to stretch the inner thighs, move through your hips, get a little strength for the outside of your hips and your thighs. Use your chair if you'd like. One more time on each side. There's your side to side. And then when you finish that, stay in the center. Take your toes to the front. Here's our stretch. Push your hips back. Give yourself a nice stretch down the back of your legs. Bring yourself up. Yes, I am going to bring in our calf raises here. My feet are under my hips and my fingertips are going to be on my chair. You're going to lift your heels. Little balance on your toes. Bring the heels down today. See if you can lift your toes up a little bit as you balance. Here it comes. Lift the heels. Balance on your toes. Heels go down, balance on your heels. Yes, I'm using my chair to help me balance. We lift our heels, pause at the top. Heels go down, toes come up, pause here. Two more of these, we lift it up. You bring it down, squeeze your butt. One more time, up. Bring it down. And then when you finish that, we're going to do a calf stretch. You're going to step your right foot forward, left foot back, push the heel down, stretch the lower leg. It's, it's, it's a great stretch. You should do it on your own throughout the day. Getting this stretch. Can I take a peek? I always have to look. My heel likes to come in, so I have to move it over. And yes, it changes the stretch. It changes where I feel it, all the way from my hip down to my heel. Switch sides. That doesn't mean that's how it is for you, but we often let our heel go in in the back and you don't get the same effect from the stretch as if you would let the heel go behind the toes. And then we kind of often let our hips go. So then if you try to think, can I keep my hips to the front and take that stretch and... That's really for the lower leg. Go ahead, bring it up, shake it over here. Give yourself a little shake. I'm gonna grab a sip of water. I'm gonna take my water with me. I'm gonna grab my weights with me. We're gonna sit down and we are going to work on some upper body strengthening exercises. We will start with the row I usually do and then we'll move on to some uh, biceps and triceps. First, it's rows. You're taking one weight in each hand. We do have to sit far enough forward on our chair. Arms are by your side. Some of us will have a bigger lean forward than others. Relax your thumbs so you're not over clenching your weight. Elbows come up and back. Keep in mind, we want to be strong through our core. That means avoid arching your back when you draw your elbows up. Elbows up and relax down. There's five, four, three, two, one more time. Bring yourself all the way up right here. I'm going to set my weight on my left thigh, bicep curl, and a knee lift. If you choose not to do the knee lift, that's perfectly fine. We are going to do some calf raises as well. If you choose to do a calf raise instead, just know that you'll be doing twice as many. So if you're comfortable with that, maybe you lift the leg up just a little bit. Sometimes that's better than trying to lift it too high, especially if you find that you lean back each time you lift the knee. Let's keep the range of motion a little bit smaller. There's your up and down. We have two more to go. Now the next move, let's do a little 
overhead press with the calf raise, take the right arm up, and then you lift the heel and push and bring it down. Lift the heel and push. So now I have a calf raise with an overhead press. Up and down, up and down. There's five. Try to stay centered. If you like to lean off to the side, can you keep yourself straight up? There's your lift. One more time. And bring the arm down. We have to switch sides here. So take the opposite bicep curl, knee lift. There's your up. And again, the range of motion that you use is really up to you. You might be keeping the leg down a little bit lower. And definitely, right, we usually feel the difference between one side and the other. Five more here. Five. Four. Three, two, heel lift, overhead press is next. Here we go, arm goes up, you lift the heel and bring it down. Now I have my palm facing front, it just feels better for my shoulders. Please feel free to let your palm face your ear if that feels better for your shoulder joint. There's your up. We have five to go here. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more time. You're going to carefully bring the weight down right here. One weight in each hand. Palms face the back. This is the back of the shoulder. Some triceps. Feet are flat. Little press back and release. Now relax your neck and shoulder. The lift doesn't have to be big. See if you can pull your belly button in to support your back as you have a press and release. Press, release. There's five, four, three, two, one more time, let your arms stay down right here, relax it, shake out your arms. Side crunch, we're going into core. Little crunch off to the side, bring it up. Little crunch to the side, bring it up. I'm alternating sides. So we did this a little earlier, but pull your belly button in, make sure you're using your core, not your back. Completely support your back and then add the movement. Off to one side, bring it up. Off to the side, bring it up. Here's four, three, two. We set one way down. I'm gonna carefully set it underneath my chair. I actually dropped it, so it wasn't careful at all. Weight is going to be in front. We're doing a little bit more core. If you don't want to use a weight, do not use it. You can set them both down. There is a lean. It's a little twist to one side. Now, I'm emphasizing this is core. We do our lean backs. We've been doing that move for a while. Same idea on the lean back, but now I'm adding a little bit of a twist. A little bit of a twist and keep it in your core. Support your back if this bothers your back. Sit up taller. Keep it more upright as you add the twist. We're going to do one more on each side. Then when you finish that one, we're going to take this weight up overhead. We're going to do circles over our head. I call it halos. And again, pull the belly in. Make these circles over your head. Use control. Now, if you need your elbows more bent, that's okay. You have your shoulders doing a little rotation around. Now we're gonna change direction, take it around in the other direction 
And this is a core exercise. We want to feel the stability through your center. We work on this because when we move throughout the day, we want to bring attention to supporting our core, which will support our low back, which will keep it a little safer. Go ahead, bring your weights down. You can set your weight down underneath your chair. I'm, all, I'm gonna add our reach and pull for our shoulders back area yet. There comes that reach up, make a Y. You're gonna pull down, make a W. I, we're not using any resistance here, but I want you to think that you are. So resist as you pull down. You can relax when you go up. Resist and pull down. Get your back strong. Reach up. Resist and pull down. We'll do two more here. Reach up. Pull down. We're going to do one more. And I'm taking you right into a stretch from here. Pull down, once you're there, take your hands, reach to the back of the chair, open up your chest. Right here, you can feel free. Relax your core a little bit if you guys super tight. Open up your chest, your shoulders, your chin can touch the ceiling. We're going right into the opposite. Bring your hands to your thighs. If you're comfortable, you're going to lean all the way forward. Use this to stretch your back. Maybe you reach your hands forward to your shins. If it works to let your head, neck drop, go with that. And now carefully support yourself. Bring yourself all the way up. Sweep your right arm up, drop the left, take a big side stretch. Lengthen the side of the body. We did our side crunches. Here comes the other side. Think of really lengthening through your waistline. Get that big stretch down the side of your body. Bring both your arms up. Clasp your hands. There's that stretch. Wrist to the ceiling. Open your arms up to the side. Hug a big bowl. Open up between your shoulder blades. Reach out to the front. You can relax your hands on your lap, sit up tall, slide your right leg out, add a lean forward to stretch your hamstring. I like to support myself. That is my preference, but I also know having and reaching down your leg, reaching towards your toes might feel good. We're all different. We're going to take it where you get the best stretch for your body. Drop the bottom of your foot down. I bring this in so we can get a nice stretch for the front of our leg. If your ankle is tight, you might notice a stretch down the ankle or the top of the foot. Bring yourself up. We're going to switch sides here. Support yourself. Leg goes out. Start with your toes up. Think a little lengthening through your spine, meaning a string pulls your top of your head a little further away from your tailbone. You get a little taller. Drop the bottom of the foot down. And again, maybe you're having a reach forward. You know what works. Start bringing yourself up. Slide the leg in. Open your feet up wide. Come down to your forearms. Here's that big side stretch. Arm comes over. Use it to lengthen the side of the body. Use it to open up the chest. Your right foot can go out, add a little more length. We're gonna hold this, feel this stretch. Sweep this top hand to your back leg, reach the front arm up, reverse this and get a little different stretch. Relax the hand to your thigh, slide the back leg in. Come down to your forearms, here's the other side. First, you sweep the arm up and over, get the length. Then you walk the foot out, feel the stretch. Now you take the hand to the thigh and the arm comes up and you feel the length. Release the arm down, slide the leg in, come into your forward fold, high, low, 
anywhere in between, you would start bringing yourself up. You can bring your legs in, keep your feet in front, reach your arms up, drop the right hand behind, tricep stretch. You might feel it in your shoulder. I have my arm over. You could also do the arm under. Fingertips go up, drop the left hand. Fingertips go up, drop the arms down, little shoulder roll. Quadricep stretch means we come, you can go off the side of the chair. I'm going off the front, a little better visual. Front foot is down, think of this like 90 degrees, 90 degrees. I tuck my back toes over. You might choose to keep the foot flat. That again is a personal preference. There's the stretch. The goal is to stretch the front of the leg, the front of the hip. Relax the arm down. Bring yourself to center so you can switch to the other side. I'll be scooting this way again. Whatever version works for you, that's where you're going to take it. And then once you're there, arm and leg, there's the stretch. Try to relax into the stretch so if you get really tense, see if you can let the leg relax a little bit. Arm comes down, leg comes in. I'm gonna do one more little stretch in this knee quadricep. Take the foot, tap it underneath your chair. Get a little bit more of a stretch for the front of the leg. And here comes the other side, little stretch down here. Feet are going to be flat on the floor. If you wanna sit back further on your chair, go for it. Hands are gonna be on your thighs, cow cat here. Move through the spine. That includes catching your neck. Dropping the chin down and up. Sit up tall right here. You can hug the right leg a little or a lot. If crossing your legs work for you, I'm gonna be crossing. Remember, you can cross your ankles or skip it all together. I'm using this to get a little bit of a stretch on the outside of the thigh of the hip. Here's that twist. Keep sitting tall. So if you shift your weight forward, see if you can keep it centered. And there's your twist for your back. Turn your head, turn your eyes. That's your eye muscles right there as you look behind you. Bring it back to the front. Uncross this side. Here comes the other side again. It could be your ankles or not. Here comes sit up tall. Weight is on your butt cheeks. There's your twist. And then you take your eyes back. We're using your eye muscles a little bit. Bring it back to the front on, cross your legs there. We're gonna take our right hand behind, drop the left, drop the ear to the shoulder. Lift the head, switch sides, left arm behind, right ear drops, big exhale. Lift the head, drop the arm, one shoulder roll. Here are your inhales. Take a big inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, blow it out. We have two more of these. Reach up, big inhale. Blow it out, exhale. And one more time, big inhale. Blow it all out, exhale. Thank you so much. Happy Tuesday. I will see you all on Thursday. Thank you.